Okay, we come to deal with Judy Wood. Okay. Now, my attention was brought to this woman. And there's quite a lot of people convinced that what she is saying is absolutely spot on. Well, quite frankly, I've heard better, far, far better explanations of things than this woman has come up with. This is absolutely shoddy. All she is doing is giving out speculation and then she forms from that speculation what she would have others to think are facts. Now she says for instance about this car here that it's been toasted and she can't explain why this isn't toasted okay and um, in another piece of footage why the lights on the top were not touched and she just goes on and on and then is implying basically that it was interfered with with some new technology None of what she says can be proven, in a sense, okay? When she comes to the seismic readings, all right? Now, she's already dismissed what ex-CIA officials have said, that thermite was planted all around the building. How much thermite? We don't know. But we certainly know there was enough to bring the buildings down. Now, Judy Wood has dismissed thermite, okay? Because she's got this theory going, all right? Now, we know these are must be CIA ex-agents because they wouldn't stand up and say thermite was put in and it was put in by the the intelligence agencies would they? <laughs> Pick it, eh man? No, they'd go the, 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 the official line so they're not actors or anything like that they're going against the official line and again, how much thermite was put into those buildings? We don't know and once again, this Judy has dismissed that. Therefore, she comes along with her own little solution. Okay? To turn the buildings into dust. And her solution makes the buildings turn into dust. Now, on the grounds that she's dismissed Fermite, she has to replace it with something else, again, of her liking. Now, Fermite could have taken down all those floors, pulverised them, because they were being pulverised in mid-air. Secondly, all right, not only the ex-CIA members have said it was Fermite, but there were firemen on the ground who said they heard a popping sound. Bump, 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 bump on each floor. How do you do that with sort of a ray gun effort? You can't. And therefore, all the rubble that came down would probably have not registered on seismic counters as a great big over a million tonnes worth of rubble. Because it had been destroyed by thermite on its way down. Hmm? Another matter. These cars were dumped here by the looks of things. They may not have been, but they look as though they've been dumped here. Just cast to, to, work, to one side. Now we don't know when these vehicles were put here. We don't know when this footage was taken. And 
let me say something else here with this footage. There is footage and there is footage. Alright? This woman, Judy Wood, is taking all the footage as authentic. It's not. It is not authentic. She does not make the distinction between the footage that has been manipulated and footage that is real. Okay? We dealt with the thermite with her picking ray gun. Her pet theory, which she turns into fact. Let's go to the footage. Okay? On the day, there was a woman and her mates standing there in the road and she was being interviewed. I've mentioned this before. She was interviewed and the reporter... <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. And the reporter said to her, Did you see those passenger planes hit the towers. I said at the time, why is he saying, did you see those passenger planes? Because normally you would say, did you see those planes hit the towers? But of course he was feeding her a line. And she turned around and said, well, since when do passenger planes have no windows, no decretails and are grey? Then he asked the same question again. And she just looked at him, mystified, and the rest of them. Because she just answered him. But he wasn't going to settle for the true answer. So what she had apparently seen, the military controlled jets hitting those buildings. Now, Judy Wood said no planes hit those buildings. Yes, they did. You see, what she does is this. You dismiss the planes, then you can still go for your ray gun. You see, the thing is, she's glued, like others, to the fact that the planes, if they'd have hit the buildings, they couldn't have taken the buildings down, so you get rid of the planes. Simple as that. And you go back to this ray gun. Now the footage is clearly, clearly manipulated. The grey planes all of a sudden, and that have no windows, all of a sudden have windows and are not grey anymore and have a livery on them. Isn't that amazing? Eh? Absolutely amazing because they've altered the picking footage and you can see they've altered the picking footage because they've all overdone it in rushing to change the footage before it got out into the media. Because if you go to one of them, you can see the nose of the plane coming out to the side. Now, you can't do that. A passenger plane can't do that. You see how they've overdone it in their rush to airbrush out military planes and to put in a pictures of passenger planes. Now, they did this in order that people on the ground would see planes hit the building to confirm the state's line that buildings were hit by planes. And this again is why the airspace was cleared. Not one person has ever answered me on this. They've just dismissed it. That the airspace was cleared for a reason. And that was to bring in these planes, to make it appear that the planes brought them down, to cover up the fact that it wasn't. It was big in thermite. All throughout those buildings that turned the buildings into dust and collapsed them into dust. And then, of course, they found the pig in thermite underneath the rubble. And this woman here says, oh, they wouldn't have put diggers in. You know, JCB's into this rubble with all these fires. Well, the point is that it was only discovered that they had these pegging fires, and this was on. This was publicised at the time that 
the fires were underneath the rubble, so they didn't know the fires were there. They saw all the smoke, and they thought, well, it's just dissipating. But as soon as the buckets went under and pulled the rubble, there was mass of fire. And it was concluded that that was pig infermite. We'll come back to this in a second.